One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Ching, ching. Okay, I think we are we are good to go. Not yet. Oh, I'm going to put you in the chin. Dollar. I'm talking Uh, those who are standing there, please get get in and have, take a seat. Phil, manage that. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Uh, we have got a very short statement here to make and further comments by a few of us. But I must start from the outset by saying that we are making this statement against uh, the backdrop of very unfortunate occurrence. It's for the first time in the history of this country we are being made to understand that State House uh, has sanctioned the enlisting of militia. Finish the people. Because that's exactly what happened in State House on Saturday morning. And it's exactly what was followed by a statement which was issued by Kenya Kwanza. So we are standing here before you uh, very concerned that uh, the, the country or the leadership which is currently in place can take such a direction. But let me say this, first and foremost, that we are here to confirm that the peaceful protests are planned for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week are on, as earlier declared by our leaders. These protests will go on in line with Article 37 of our Constitution, which, you, as you all know, provides for freedom of peaceful assembly and picketing. And no person no authority has got the power 
to suspend the operation of Article 37 of our Constitution. No person, no authority, no agency. Not William Ruto, not Kituri Kindiki, not Kinditu Gachagua. Gachagua who? Yes. No person and anybody purporting to stop demonstrations is deluding themselves because they have got no that power or authority. Now we can also confirm that the signature collection is also going on and will proceed side by side with the protests. This exercise is also protected under Article 1 of our Constitution. The people have decided to act directly. And who are we to go against the wishes of the people? And having said this, we wish to set the record straight on a couple of things that Kenya Kwanza got wrong last week in their response to the ongoing protests. Now, Kenya Kwanza claimed that protesters are being paid. Now, for anyone to claim that those protesters who came out in hundreds and thousands in places like Mali, Busia, Kitale, Kilifi, Kakamega, Machakos, and Nairobi, among other places, were paid is to be extremely insincere and to live in deep denial. And that should worry Kenyans. A regime in denial and deep slumber is a very dangerous regime. And Kenya Kwanza in one, is one such regime, as we all know by now. Now, we are shocked at how fast Kenya Kwanza has lost contact with the people and how they don't understand what Kenyans are going through. Kenya Kwanza claims that the protests are not about the cost of living. In their view, the cost of living is not so high as to warrant protests. That is how a regime that has abandoned people's agenda thinks. And Kenya Kwanza is obviously one such regime. Because Kenya Kwanza does not seem to understand or know how hungry and angry Kenyans are. And like a broken record, Kenya Kwanza is stuck. Still talking about to the handshake of 2018 the Nusumukate of 2008, and so on and so forth. Kenyans are past that stage. And, and since they lack imagination, Kenya Kwanza is the only political formation still thinking and talking about the handshakes and the rest. And no wonder the regime has lost the people. Now Kenya Kwanza is accusing us, as a mule, of failing to provide solutions to the rising cost of living. Seriously, we know no country where a party stays in government, but once the one out of government provides solutions to the problems of the people. If Kenya Kwanza solutions are not working for the people, then Kenya Kwanza needs to get out of power. Just disband and quit. Across the world, responsible leaders and regimes admit failure of their policies and quit in the interest of the nation. Don't ask us for, sol for solutions. Quit and pave way for a regime that has solutions. Indeed, if we took our power, we would provide those solutions. You all know. Now, in their address last weekend, Kenya Kwanzaa purported to call the attention of the nation to so-called efforts by the government to reduce the cost of living. But they could not point to any such efforts. If there's an effort to lower the cost of living, Kenya Kwanza will, Kenyans will notice it. And Kenya Kwanza would not need to be explaining itself or struggling to, be, to explain itself. The truth is there are no such efforts to lower the cost of living. How can raising of taxes on fuel from 8 to 
be classified as an effort to lower the cost of living. Now, Kenya Kwanza is telling us that the government has hired some 55,000 teachers. Now, so what? That isn't a favor. They are supposed to be hiring teachers anyway. But they are missing the point. People eat food. And people want food. Even the teachers they are crying about. Even the teachers are crying about the cost of living. And high taxes. And low salaries. Hiring teachers doesn't reduce the cost of living. What is the point in hiring a teacher then taking away his entire salary through taxes? What is the point in hiring workers and turning them into slaves? We encourage Kenya Kwanza to move past generalities of constantly reminding Kenyans that Kenya Kwanza is a legitimately elected government. People want food. People don't eat government. Legitimate or illegitimate. Yeah. Give them food. And they leave the streets. Yeah. 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 The legitimacy or credibility of any government is seen in the way it governs. And it treats people. If a regime is a failure, like Kenya Kwanza is, it does not matter how legitimate or otherwise it is. Because people simply want food. Now, Kenya Kwanza is talking about uh, the Hustler Fund and the plan to roll out the next phase and so on and so forth. Now, Kenya has never had a, sh a shortage of funds, <laughs> like uh, Youth Fund, Women Fund, and you can count, count them. And yet again, people don't eat funds, you know. People eat food. And people don't eat in faces. Yes, people eat today. Okay? And every day. So don't tell Kenyans about Hustler Fund at its next phase. Just tell Kenyans how food will be affordable now. Today. And they will leave the streets. Otherwise, if you don't do that, get, be ready to face these people in the streets for as long as it will take. Hire your militia, as many as you want to hire, but the people will not leave the streets. Namna you? Yes. So I think I want to leave it at that point and ask my brother, the Honorable Leader, Senator Mazayo, to continue. Yes. Sorry. I'll continue from where my brother Opio has left. We do not understand Kenya Kwanza's obsession with seeing and doing what Kenyans have not asked for. As far as we know, Kenyans have never asked for funds to be launched. Kenyans have specifically asked for the cost of goods to come down and taxes to be reduced. But Kenya Kwanza is talking about deficit and funds. We have seen Kenya Kwanza resorting to the tired and begotten phrases like Lord of Violence. It won't work. People don't care. All that the people want is food. And decent standard of living. If Kenya Kwanza has a has a price of peace, has a prince of peace who can't provide food, no amount of character assassination of his of his challenger will sway Kenyans will sway Kenyans. People want food. We, we have seen Kenya Kwanza purport to be sharing with Kenya with with Kenyans the right honorable Raila Odinga's political history. How ridiculous can they get? We now challenge the same members of parliament to share with us the political history 
of William Ruto and uh, Rigathi Gashagwa from 1990 to date. They started it. Let them go to the full length. We take note that the Kenya Kwanza MPs have threatened to mobilize their supporters to counter protesters whom they believe are supporters of Azimio. Again, Kenya Kwanza is missing the point and get it wrong. Getting it wrong. The thousands of Kenyans turning up for protests are not just Azimio supporters. They are Kenyans from across all political and non-political formations who have been brought together by suffering. The protesters are from Azimio, Fort Kenya, ANC, and even Kenya Kwanza. The people realize they don't eat government. People eat food and they want food. People realize that having voted for, the, for a party or for a president who does not put food on the table, all the same, we welcome Kenyans, we, we, I will repeat that. People eat food and they want food. People realize that having voted for a party or a president does not put food on the table. All the same, we welcome Kenya Kwanza MPs to protest on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. If they come with violence and murder, Kenya Kwanza supporters will be among the victims. We take note that Kenya Kwanza members of parliament have resolved to cooperate with the police to ensure that there is no further loss of life and livelihoods. We know what this means. It means confirming protesters with members of that killer squad called Operation Support Unit, whose brief is to maim, kill protesters, including Azimio leaders. In this regard, we take great exceptions to the continued threats to life of our leader, the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. As propagated by senior leaders of the Kenya Kwanza regime, there will be a price to pay for those threats. Yes. We are shocked that Kenya Kwanza is taking is talking of those who orchestrate, plan, and, and finance violence, and occasions occasion mass displacements of civilian population and business deemed to be owned by people from other communities. That sounds like Kenya Kwanza. The sponsors of the greatest violence and murder and displacements in Kenyan history are in Kenya Kwanza. Kenya Kwanza members of parliament need to know the history of the leaders of their parties of their party. The men and women who have sponsored violence, evicted communities, and taken over their land and businesses are in Kenya Kwanza. It is clear that Kenya Kwanza is struggling on all fronts. We call on Kenyans to wake up to the reality that we are on our own and we have to fight for ourselves. In this regard, we acknowledge motorists for their participation in the last protests and encourage them to continue staying off the road on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in solidarity with all the Kenyans. Let's meet on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, uh, let's invite uh, the Honorable uh, uh, Edwin Sifuna before Honorable Leader Eno Kwambua also comes in. That order. 
Uh, thank you very much. Just two things to add on to that statement, that uh, we have received intelligence that in fact uh, senior police officers in the Kenyan Police Command have chosen to ignore the illegal directive that was given by CS Kindiki for police officers to shoot protesters. And that is the reason why the president convened a PG, because he knows the police will not do his dirty work. He has now told his own members of parliament to mobilize people in their constituencies to come and harm protesters. We want to say here to those of you who might be mobilized to come and fight your fellow Kenyans, we are not the enemy. We are not the ones who have added taxation on fuel. All these members of parliament here voted against that bill. You cannot come and fight your fellow uh, hustlers in the streets. You cannot come from Madare and think that you are better than the person who comes from uh, Kasarani. If Kenyans are sleeping hungry because of the price of food, the hustlers are sleeping hungry and members of Azimio are also sleeping hungry. For a president to convene a meeting where he sets his own people against each other, I think we have never come to such a law in this country. And we must condemn it in the strongest words possible. I want the people of Azimio to know we have won the argument. By the time you hear a professor of law like Kindiki saying he no longer wants to hear English or Swahili or uh, constitutional concepts, it means we have won the argument. They have no answer to the questions that Kenyans are asking them. That is why a professor, a professor, somebody who should be encouraging discourse, constitutional discourse, and encouraging the development of law, would get to a point and he says, Sasa hii kizungu imekuwa mingi, wajuaji Nairobi wamekuwa wengi, sasa tupige yao risasi. It means we have won the argument and they have no answers. Finally, we will not fight our fellow countrymen. I want to make it very clear. In Nairobi, we live as a community. Kikuyu, Luya, Jaluo, kila mutu wapa. Saile, Jaluo, analala nja, muluya, analala nja, mukikuyu, analala nja. We will not fight our fellow countrymen. In fact, some of these members of parliament who talk, you know, we are with them in the Senate. Mutu kama cherargei. Yeah, neza piga nani hapa mbele, vile munaona, hapa. Who can, who can cherargei fight here? Eh? He talks like that because he knows he's going to hide behind the instruments of violence of the state. Senator Chirargei, instead of organizing your boys to come and fight peaceful demonstrators, just come and fight Sifuna. Hey, akuje tutu kutani watuawili. Lastly, they are crying and saying, oh, this signature thing is going nowhere. But they are actively sabotaging the collection of signatures. We have had over a thousand attacks on our website that is uh, uh, being used for collection of uh, signatures. They have even cloned the website to try and, uh, you know, confuse our supporters. But we are saying Kenyans want to eat, and they want to eat today. It doesn't matter how, how long you cover your ears. Tutapiga hiyo masikio kofi mbaka ifunguke. Usikie kilio ya wakenya. Asante sana. Honorable Eno Kwamboa. Alafu Honorable Kenchonga. And then Honorable Senator. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'll also be very brief. I will say three things. One, we must structure this conversation properly. The conflict that we are experiencing today and that we will experience on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday is not a conflict between Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio. That conflict happened on the 9th of okay. August, yes. and we won it. Yes. Yes. The conflict that we are going to experience on Wednesday, Thursday, and, fr and Friday is a conflict between one William Samoy Ruto and the people of Kenya. Wow. That, that's what I, what's happening. I, I, I was really surprised to see Honorable Ruto calling Honorable Members and telling them to go and mobilize their people, their constituents, to fight us. Actually, I would say, I am ashamed on his behalf. Because the people from those constituencies 
some of them are suffering even more than people in constituencies represented by Azimio. And let me tell you what will happen on Wednesday. And, and, and I'm not a prophet, but I can foresee this. Any member of parliament, any leader from Kenya Kwanzaa, who dares to stop their people from saying they are starving. That's what all people are saying. Yeah. We want food. That's what they are saying. Any member that dares to stop his people from saying that, then that member will be forced by his people to say other things. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Lastly, lastly, we are at the lowest that any democracy can sink. At the lowest. And you know myself and Senator Sifuna, we were in the bipartisan talks. And when we realized that we were being taken for a ride, we said, stop any conversation about anything else. Let us talk about food for our people. And that conversation will take place on Wednesday, on Thursday, and Friday. And, and if, if people are uncomfortable with that, I have a solution for them. Bring down the cost of living today. And we will not be on the streets on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I thank you. Ken Chonga. Wa Kenya wenzangu. Ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba chenye mweshimua rutu hajailewa. Ni kuwa mkusukumbo huu. Maandamano haya si vita baina ya Ruto na Raila. Maandamano haya msukumo hao huu umeletwa kwa sababu hali ya maisha haiwezi ikakidhika tena. Mwenye alisimama na Ruto, mwenye alisimama na Raila, wote leo shida ni zile zile moja. Na Ruto mimi nataka kumwambia kitu kimoja. Serikali ambayo haiwezi ikatetea wengi ambao ni wanyonge haitaweza kutetea wachache walio watajiri yes. wale ambao wanalia njaa leo wawe ni azimio wawe ni Kenya kwanza ni wale wanyonge mtoto hawezi kulilia chakula ukampe mawe watu wanataka chakula unawaletea vitisho ati tutakuua wale walio kuchagua wewe leo kama kwako huwezi kuona maana ni kitu gani kitakuwa na maana kwako tena wacha hii ieleweke wacha ruto aelewe asikie hakuna vitisho ambavyo kwamba atavitoa ili watu waweze kunyamaza na kuvumilia watu wanataka chakula leo watu wanataka chakula kesho ndio ili vizazi ambavyo vinakuja Vijue kwamba vimezaliwa katika karne ambayo kwamba inajali maswala, ma, ma, maslahi ya wananchi ambao wapo. Na watu wakikosa chakula Ruto ajitahadhari. Aji, aji Mbali na maandamano mambo zaidi yako nyuma ya mfuata. Asante. Uh, you are aware that the United Nation has pronounced itself on the situation in the country, especially on the issue of police brutality and the killings that went on during the demonstration. I want to state very clearly that the earlier petition by Azimio to ICC is very active. And we want to encourage the United Nations and ICC to note the events of this week. One, the President William Ruto chaired a meeting that planned anarchy on the people of Kenya at State House. Number two, the suspension of the Constitution by those in KK Alliance, particularly Article 37 of the Constitution. Three, the killings that went on last week. And as Azimio, we have profiled all the people who have died, and all of them died as a result of shootings 
by the police. Thirdly, the statements attributed to one Kindiki, who ironically was a lawyer at the ICC. Two, Gashagwa. And three, Moses Kuria threats yes. on Baba. Yes. We are asking ICC, please take note of what is happening in this country so that we have the commencement of our petition before the ICC so that these people are brought to book. And lastly, we are aware, we have information that governors and some of them as mere governors have been instructed to spend count money on hiring militias to attack people. We are asking governors that we are watching you. Any money spent to pay goons to attack peaceful demonstration shall be recovered from you and you will be prosecuted for using public money to organize uh, goons to attack peaceful demonstrators. Thank you. Okay. I, I think uh, that's fine. Thank you very much.